Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back again at Michigan, St. Croix Lake, and we're going to do something a little bit different here, guys. I just finished uh, doing my freshwater drum episode, and I've got some time to kill because it's after... 9 a.m. in the morning and I'm thinking about coming down here to this vanishing rock light peg here and the reason I'm coming here and I don't know if you've ever seen or even fished here that much but what I like about this place let me switch rods here is all the unique things you can catch here guys now I'm going to show you what I've been I've got in my tackle here I've got my jig winner seven foot by ten inch my hornet swarm and my farcaster here with my cyclone 5500 now I'm going to be using tiger spoons for both of these rods and it's just going to be depending on which type I want to fish for at the time I'm going to basically be switching back and forth but this is primarily going to be spoons guys that I'm going to be fishing with <laughs> and actually I think I'm going to be fishing with nothing but spoons so let me come down here real quick I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, this place is an excellent, excellent area for catching smallmouth bass, especially right out here towards this buoy, right just past the lighthouse. Now, I'm going to go ahead and advance this to about 4 p.m. Now, they usually really start biting more about 5, but 4 p.m. is a good start. Now, let me go ahead and cast this out here. Now you want to get it out past about 150 feet. You'll catch all, I mean, smallmouth's primarily what you're going to get, but you'll catch all kinds of things here, guys. That's why I like it. But make sure that it always goes all the way to the bottom before you start to reel in. Now I'm going to move, I moved it up to two notches, and I'm going to do a stop and go retrieve here. Now for the smallmouth, stop and go is excellent. And as this a lift and drop, oh, there we go. There we go. We got our first one. One thing I really like about smallmouths, guys, is pound for pound, they are much tougher fighters than even largemouth bass are. <clears throat> I just really like fishing for these guys. I think I said in one of my episodes long ago that uh, one time I caught a smallmouth bass and I had no bait at all. All I had was a hook. <laughs> and I was reeling it back in and I guess it moved in a way that he liked and he latched onto it. Fought me too. I thought I was losing my mind there for a minute. Anyway, let's see what this guy is here. Yep, a smallmouth, pretty decent size. No trophy of any kind, but still, 43 XP, not bad. Now, let's see here. I'm kind of looking at... Okay, I do have the one and a half ounce on here. I couldn't remember if I had that or the two ounce. Now, it's important, guys... That you make sure that you have about a at least a 10 pound test because some of the fish you'll catch here and I'm gonna switch over to the bigger the bigger lure here some of the fish here can be kind of sizable so it's nothing like getting a surprise and having some fish snap your you know your lure right off and yes I have the tension way down and that's also a precautionary Alright, there we go. I'm sorry about my dog. We got apparently people outside. I had somebody complain about my background noise, but you know what people? Life is what it is, and you're going to have background noise. Especially if you live in an apartment complex, as I do. There's nothing I can do about it. Especially our upstairs neighbors. I call them the flying Capanellis, because... 
They sound like they're tossing each other around up there most of the time. <laughs> no joke. I don't think they're doing anything ornery. I think what it is is they're just either young and they're loud. Sounds like there's a small kid running around upstairs. There, I closed the door. I don't know. Okay, there we go, guys. Yeah, I've been catching a lot of regular size smallmouth, but this one's this one hit pretty darn hard. My god, they really are making a lot of noise up there today. Let's see what this looks like, guys. There you go, trophy smallmouth bass, plus 68, 4.235 pounds, 18.711 inches. I usually get, you know, in one session here, I will usually get at least four or five trophies most of the time. But I think the thing I like most is what I might get. I mean, I haven't... I guess I cut that a little short, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, let's... Well, something bit it. Either that or has snag. No? There's something there, alright. This is not a smallmouth, guys. This is not a smallmouth. Whatever it is... Yeah, because see, smallmouth will come to the top and jump. This is staying low. So we either got a walleye. I'm thinking it's a walleye. Just perhaps. Yep, it's a walleye, all right? There you go. Nice little walleye. Plus 49, 3.8 pounds. That's some good eating there, guys. They're pretty fish. Seagulls are a little bit obnoxious. <laughs> okay. I think they may have overdone that. Yeah, this is supposed to be like Michigan. Now, normally you're fishing in LaCroix Lake, but this is Lake Michigan I'm fishing out of right now. That, As I said before, let it go all the way to the bottom before you start to reel in. Got another one here, guys. Hmm. He's got some oomph to him. Let's see what he is. Another trophy. Not as well, he actually is bigger than the last one. I brought him in easier. What plus seventy-five. Hmm. Yeah, one of the things I like about this jig winner rod is I can get some real distance. But I think I'm gonna switch if around here a little bit because since I caught that walleye I kind of like to try this narrow spoon see if I can't attract another one or maybe maybe a trout I've already caught over a dozen smallmouth I've been doing sitting here fishing but the reason you didn't see them is because I've only showed you the first couple of regular size ones. There we go. Let's see. What is this? What? Ah, a yellow perch. I guess they like the quarter ounce narrow spoons too. Not that I haven't caught one on there before, but. Alright guys, yeah with walleye you kind of have to do a, there we go, that's something, let me see, no it came to the surface so it's not a walleye, but it is fighting me. It doesn't seem. It's, 
I don't think it's a smallmouth. Okay, it's a trout. What kind of trout? Let's see. Brown trout. All right, cool. There you go. There's something a little different. All right, let's see if we can't get us another one of those. Just for giggles. I forgot to let it go to the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. I need to follow my own instructions here. I was just reeling away. Yeah, I like I like to switch things around here. This is a good place for that. I'll try different lures. Whoops. Darn near dropped my mouse there. Just try different lures and different spoons, different weights. It's like right now I'm gonna try lift and drop. I've been doing the stop and go. Now I'm going to take it up to two and do a lift and drop because I catch smallmouth real well on that particular retrieval practice. Now you can get these guys anywhere. There we go. Anywhere from beyond that. Life boy all the way up right offshore. And I want to thank whoever just responded to me on my cell phone. <laughs> That's what the ding was. Yeah, let's see what this guy is. Yep, another trophy. It's the biggest one so far, 5.331 pounds plus 86. Now I have heard that there is a unique smallmouth, but I don't know if it actually still exists here in Michigan. I know there was one, some of the... Uh, videos that were made about seven eight nine months ago but with all the updates they may have taken that out so and as much as I've been fishing here I would kind of think I would have landed one by now but and I have tried some of the techniques from some of the previous videos but like I said it's they're very old there we go so I don't know don't know if they're here or not but I swear if I get one I will be sure to let you guys see it I think we got us no I thought it was a walleye Wow now that's a large trophy yellow perch plus 49 man 2.6 pounds that's the largest I think that's the largest trophy perch I've ever caught no joke he is huge It's a nice one. Yeah, I might have to try my my red and silver devil spoon or weapon X a little bit later because those yellow perch they really like that spoon. And smallmouth do too, but wait a minute. Oh whoa 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, whatever that was, he hit hard. I got the drag down just in time before he snapped that off. That's what I mean by watching your drag here, guys. Every now and then you'll get a, a real surprise. And you'll be sitting there with as you watch your line go snap. And your lure has gone bye-bye. Yeah, you'll notice that one of my reels doesn't is red when I pull up my screen and that's because I had a fish break it <laughs> there we go nice nice walleye 3.5 pounds plus 46 
Yeah, this is just one of three spots that I know of that you can get the walleye. The first one being the one that uh, my buddy Dulacaba had exhibited in one of his videos. His morning or cloudy morning or something in here in uh, Michigan. He primarily goes after the pike and the muskie. I, I will fish them occasionally, but I don't know. I kind of like the... Whoa! Okay. Hmm. Just barely missed him, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, I kind of like to... I kind of like to try for different fish and just kind of mix it up a little bit. And since that's his favorite, I'm gonna, you know, I kind of feel like I should just let him handle those. And if I catch one by accident, you know, so what? But if I, it's getting to be night, guys. Getting a little late. I'm not so sure I'm gonna catch anything. Well, <laughs> wasn't sure I was gonna catch anything, but let's see what I caught. Is this a walleye or perch? That's a perch. Plus 35, another trophy. Not as big as that one, but still. Not bad. Not bad at all. I didn't think I'd catch anything here past 7. I've kind of had this belief that they weren't biting past this time on a sunny day. Well, we'll keep on going then. See what happens. already hit bottom yeah I hope to cut out a lot of the parts here because there's a lot of times when there's just kind of you know me doing exactly this two three casts in a row and I do not want to bore you guys but real fishing you spend a lot of time just casting and retrieving casting retrieving you don't always catch your fish. But it's not about just catching the fish. It's about being here and having a good time. This is so relaxing. I don't know. Well, thought something might have bit it. I'm not sure. Sometimes I give it a bounce. Kind of with the hope that, <laughs> well, I guess there wasn't anything there. Hmm. Well, guys, that's probably enough for now. It's getting kind of late, and I don't know. I might do one more, one more try here. One more try. I'm gonna, I forgot that I was wanting to do my my devil spoon here. My Weapon X spoon. I did promise I'd do that. Hmm. Well, I'll try casting it a little further this time. I'm going to choke the life of those damn seagulls. <laughs> I swear. They're annoying. Alright. Whoop. Alright. Come on, Weapon X. Don't fail me now. Give me one more smallmouth trophy. No, you can do it. So you got to give the spoon a little confidence, you know. Yeah, if I if I don't catch anything this time, I think I'm gonna just end this episode here. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
think we got us a small mouth here. There we do. Yep, sure did. It's not a trophy, but small mouth nonetheless. All right. Yeah, I know I said I'd stop, but I only said I'd stop if I didn't catch anything. <laughs> It's like one more cast, one more cast. <laughs> I promise this will be it. I can't help it. I love doing this, guys. I don't love those seagulls, but I do love doing this. This is actually the latest I've ever fished over here. So. I don't know if you guys know, but you can also catch some. Oh, there we go. There we go. What have we got? Yeah, we got another smallmouth. He might be a trophy, guys. He might be my final trophy. That'd be a good way to end this video now, wouldn't it? Be a good way to end this video. One last trophy smallmouth. And I think he is, because he's really fighting me good. Come on. We got him. No, he's not, but he was just a good fighter. Well, I'll try one last time here. I know I've said that already. <laughs> so sue me. You know what? <laughs> Can't help it. Yeah, we're gonna go. I want to try to stop him. Well, guys, I think that's about it. I fished a few times and nothing went after it, so I think we're done for the night. And take a look at what we've done here. Now, look at this, guys. As you see, all the freshwater drum I caught in the morning and. That brown trout, and then all these small mouths. Now, I did catch a freshwater drum off a crawfish. I'll say that's a first. See all the small mouth, and now look trophy freshwater drum, and the trophy small mouth bass, and trophy yellow perch, and walleyes. Yeah, I think that was a pretty good. Pretty good fishing session there. Might even have enough time to go catch some blue cats to just kind of top off the, the bag there. But anyway, guys, I think that's enough for one episode. So please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back next time. So until then, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.